Hey YouTube, this is uh, Boneyard Stuff again. Today we're going to take a look at my Browning 9mm high power. I've had this gun now for, I would say, probably about 22 years. Um, this is a great gun. I love this gun. Um, this gun is... This is one of my faves. It's a nine millimeter. Basically, this it's it, it's empty. It's safe. No clip. No round in it. No round in the chamber. Safe as it can be. This gun is an ambidextrous gun. This gun has a safety lock. Only when the hammer is back, you cannot put the safety on when the hammer is forward. This is a single action. And this gun, you cannot pull the trigger when there is no clip in it. Um, and basically, um, like I said, this is an ambidextrous gun. This gun, this gun, my wife had taken and taken out of the, took out of the house when my son, when my first son was born, and she put it in a sheepskin case and hid it out in the shed, unbeknownst to me. And I didn't realize it, and a few months went by, and I went out there and noticed that this gun had been rusted solid because it was in a leather sheepskin case, and it took a lot of work for me to get it back to shooting condition. And um, it, it, it's a great gun. I love this gun. I've had it, like I said, for 20-some-odd years, and I'll be shooting this gun for a really long time. It's a Browning 9mm high power Mark III, Mark II, and thousands of rounds have gone through this gun. It fits nice in my hand. It's got a nice tall grip. I've got big hands. Um, this is going to be my, my everyday carry gun. It's got a nice narrow profile. It's got a little bit of a long barrel for, for an in the waistband hold, but I think it'll be fine. Um, it's a it's a fairly light gun. I don't know the actual specs on it right now. Um, we'll do another review on it and see and see what actually the weight and stuff is on it. But once again, I just want to do a quick video because I am practicing. And uh, this is my Browning nine millimeter high power Mark II, I think, or Mark III. One of the three, one of the two. I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks a lot, YouTube, and just catch you in a bit.